What's going on guys? Apathetic here with all your tips, recommendations, and everything in between. And today, I'm gonna bring you some tips that I personally use to improve my sniping. It can hopefully help you snipe like a god. Let's get into it. Getting into tip number one, and that's to stop sniping aggressively. What does that mean? Have you ever watched someone sniping and they're always sliding forward into their enemies with their sniper out? This is aggressive sniping. What it looks like to me is you're using your sniper like a shotgun. This is something that is caused by two things. One is players seeing some really talented snipers using this method. And two, people like me who are transitioning from using a shotgun and are still trying to adapt their play style. The result of this is we are creating unnecessary risk when engaging our enemy and we are putting ourselves in the range of weapons that are much more efficient in that range. So how can we aggressively snipe a little more effectively? The way I found the most success with this is instead of sliding forward, we focus on sliding side to side in between cover. What we are doing here is trying different angles to position ourselves to find the opening so we can go for that headshot. By doing this repeatedly, we are constantly changing our angle of attack, and this makes us harder to track and allows us to aggressively pursue our opponents from a distance. Just by doing this along with changing my uh, shoddy ape mindset helped me become much more proficient with my sniping by keeping me out of bad situations but still satisfying my typically much more aggressive play style speaking of keeping us out of bad situations the next tip is all about playing near cover as a sniper in destiny 2 the odds aren't really in our favor but Apple, what about the crazy aim assist okay point taken fair fair but what i mean is there are a lot of other things like how fast the general movement is in destiny Combine that with how a lot of the maps are designed for more close quarter play. And then you enter weapons like shotguns and fusions that excel in close quarters. And then you throw in flinch. I think you get my point. With all that being said, when using a sniper, we have to be doing everything we can to protect ourselves in this environment. Now you'll notice in my previous tip, I mentioned sliding between cover. And the importance of that really is using our cover to not only protect us, but to improve our aim. Peak shotting with a sniper is an incredibly effective tactic for raising our chances of getting a headshot. It allows us to line up our reticle a little bit better without being flinched for popping out and taking a more accurate and informed shot. The second benefit of this is, is that our first shot doesn't do well, then we have cover we can immediately get behind, but also if someone sees us miss that first sniper shot, they now know they have an opening. They're going to become very aggro and go in for the kill. This is where the second benefit of playing cover comes into play because it allows us to then do a 180 and get the hell out of there and keep our enemy from closing the gap on us. This is incredibly important as well to in your mind be thinking of where you're going to run if the situation should occur. And this is where having an escape route in your mind when you're sniping in a specific spot is super helpful. That way, if you need to get out of that situation or that spot, you now can make that decision a lot more decisively because you know when you turn around to get around that situation, you know exactly where you're gonna go, and so it happens a lot quicker. Our third tip, guys, and this is a big one, and that's not to rely on your sniper. What this looks like is hard scoping for too long, pushing in way too hard with your sniper, and challenging enemies and going for shots when you probably should have just backed down. So that's a lot to take in right there, but the first one, hard scoping for too long, that's something we have to limit. When you're aiming down a lane and you're hoping an enemy is gonna pop out, you have to have a little timer going in your head. You have to know how long is too long for sniping, and if anything, always just zoom in and zoom back out to kind of reset your radar and check your radar. So often when I'm playing, Destiny 2, I find these snipers who are just aiming down a lane and I could be standing right next to them for another two minutes and they would have no idea. Don't be that guy. Make sure you're zooming in and zooming out your sniper. Every so often, have that timer in your head that lets you know I've been hard scoped for way too long here because then you're giving up your total awareness. Everyone is just moving around the map and you are tunnel visioned in your sniper scope with no idea of what's going on. Now the other piece to this is knowing when to put your sniper away. So often people just have their snipers out at all times because you know they're used to that high aim assist, they've landed some sick or lucky shots in the past and they, they keep it out at all times. Know when to switch back to your primary and clear out that space so that you can snipe more safely. A lot of times people will keep their sniper out and they'll take shots they shouldn't when they could have simply pulled out their primary and either finish the kill or help team shot with their team and keep their teammates from dying. 
One of the biggest gripes I have with playing with snipers on my team is this reason right here. They always have their sniper out, and when I needed them to team shot, they were too busy trying to go for that snipe, and they either missed, or they were too late, or you know for whatever reason, when if they had just had their primary out, we could have easily team shotted and secured the kill. So make sure you guys are balancing your sniper usage with your primary usage. I know I've talked about this in the past with shotguns. Same thing applies here for snipers. So in this video, as you might have noticed, I haven't talked a lot about aiming the sniper itself. And the reason for that is because a lot of times the snipers I've gone against and people I've seen who snipe, they're not people who have terrible aim. It's they lack game sense and their movement or positioning is terrible. That's what I've been focusing on this video for you guys. Your aim might not be as bad as you think, or you may, may, may think that's the main reason you're struggling with sniping. I would challenge you to step back and really assess, is that the main issue? If it is, download some aim programs and build some kind of aiming routine. But I would challenge you to assess your positioning and your movement and how often you're using your sniper. It could be too often. So really uh, analyze that and break it down for yourself and reflect on how you're playing when using a sniper because you'll be surprised how much game awareness and your positioning affects how effective of a sniper you were when i first put on my sniper i was doing terrible and it wasn't because my aim was bad i could land my shots i was just getting caught out of position caught slipping as i was hard scoping for too long basically the opposite of all the tips i've named in this video simply implementing these tips and changing my positioning playing near walls and not hard scoping relying on my sniper too much did help me do a 180 on my sniping game so hope these tips were helpful for you guys make sure you like share and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in Same the next man. one i think you know like destiny's played a lot Come on, bro. Stop playing with me. God dang it. Another effort. Bastion. Captured. Opponent claims zone C. Okay. 